how everyone is doing. Today is going to be a very interesting topic. It could be really easy for some of you guys. It could be very challenging for others. Everything depends on what's your uh, knowledge related to not just IT, but how a computer works by itself. What's its hardware and everything else inside. So we're gonna go a little bit more and explain some of the technology components the hardware components of a computer. And we're not gonna go too deep, we're just gonna go deep enough to have an understanding of some of those components. And of course, to make sure that we are looking for what the CISA is asking for you to know. Before we get started, definitely if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click like below and give me any comments. If you have any questions or if there's any topic that you would like to hear from me, let me know in the questions. If there's anything else that is not clear, I will try to clarify it as much as I can. With that, let's go into some of these details. Let me share my to make sure that we are looking for the correct things. So well, when we think about components of a computer, we need to think about two areas. There's only two types of components. The first component is the processing power, the processing component, that's where all the mathematical, logical operations happen. That's usually the CPU, the ROM, and memory units. That's basically everything, and the memory board. And then the second type of component is input and output type of devices. It could be, for example, a printer, a Microsoft, um, sorry, a microphone, a camera, uh, I'm trying to look what else I have here, a keyboard, mouse, a uh, display, it could be anything over there. It could be a printer, it could be a scanner. All of these things try to input data or output data from the entire computer structure. So if we were to draw this into this nice PowerPoint, it will look something like that. So we will have over here, let's say this is a uh, main board, main board. And the main board will have over here its CPU. So the CPU will have its, um, let me check over here just to make sure I have the correct, I know it's the CU and LAU, but I want to make sure I pronounce them correctly. So the CU is the control unit, the ALU is the arithmetic logic unit, and we also have the memory unit. So these are just the small components. I'm not gonna go too deep into some of those details, but at the end of the day, the CPU is the one that basically is like the, the brain, right? The entire processing power happens over there. You will also have over here some RAM memory where also processing power happens. You will probably have also the BIOS where also some processing happen, but then that's it. Everything else over here is an input or output. So you could have, for example, USBs over here USB, let me, let me grab USB over here. You could have over here hard drives. For example, you will have over here, let's see what else we have. I have over here a quick sample. So you could have over here graphical interfaces, for example, just to call it generally. Graphical interfaces, we have over here, for example, audio, right? So we have over here network interface too. We have we have the power, right? Power. Everything needs to work with power. And so on. With USB we're already covering so many things. And then there's more other type of inputs and outputs over here, depending on how granular we want to go over there. So that's how basically the entire components of a hardware works of a computer. Now there are other type of components that we need to think about it too. So that's the components when we think about a server, when we think about a computer, if we think about like, for example, a mainframe, mainframe is just a collection of servers kind of acting as a big brain. A supercomputer is even a bigger brain just trying to do one single task, or we can have just, you know, your personal laptop or your personal PC, or even a smartphone or a smartphone or a tablet like I have it over here. So all of these things, you know, they're systems, computers. But there are also other areas that we need to think about it over here. So it could be, for example, appliances, right? Appliances could be a router. It could be, you know, 
a modem, it could be a firewall. All of these things, usually they are small devices that they are targeted to do something specifically. Now, there are other areas that we need to think about it. So USB, for example, USB have different risks and considerations. So some of the risks of USB is that it's very small, so you can lost it, right? It can get stolen very easily. Uh, you can have viruses over there. When you put it in your computer, you can install those viruses. So you want to make sure that you have good controls in place. So for example, making sure that you're encrypting information, making sure that you have antiviruses and so on. Now other areas over here, so let me scroll down a little bit. Other areas that we need to think about are RFIC. RFIC is radio frequency, let me actually make sure. I usually don't, uh, radio frequency identification. So those are usually small tags where identify products usually are being used on warehouses to make sure that, hey, we have the same, same products in same buckets and where are those buckets located. So it's more of a warehouse management. Sometimes you can use it to access control so you can have like a key card in order to access certain locations on your company. Let's say, for example, restricted areas or anything like that. So those are other kind of um, components or devices that CISA wants to make sure that you're understanding. And then definitely when you have all of these things, right? You have the USBs, you have the RFICs, you have the graphical components, audio, and all these things on a server or the server by itself, it needs to have some type of maintenance. So you have to also make sure as an IS auditor that you look for the IS management type of maintenance uh, schedule, making sure that they are following up something formalized, making sure that they are fixing those components, making sure that they have a plan, they have training in place. And of course, you're also going to be looking for the cost because at some point the cost of maintenance may be greater than the cost of replacement. So you have to make sure that all of those things are formalized by management. It's not just about what are the components, but also we need to go full circle and make sure that management is also um, consider any type of maintenance on those components. With that, definitely this was a really quick area. I just wanted to make sure that we understand some of the technology components, especially the area of the CPU, the inputs and outputs, because that could be a little bit new on a lot of you guys. Everything depends on what's your level of knowledge on IT, on level of knowledge on computers. For some of you will be like, of course, I already know about those things. For other ones, it could be, oh, I didn't knew it. This is new for me. With that, again, subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying a lot of these videos. Give me a like button that helps me knowing that, hey, there's a lot of people out there that really like these videos. So it gives me more motivation to keep doing more of these ones. And I will be explaining more topics from CISA and helping you on your examination. With that, I hope to see you on the next video.